Welcome to Dave's Diaries in France. Enjoy the video. Ah, good morning, everyone. Dave's Diaries in France. Um, right, I'm back at our doer upper today. Um, I'm going to be tidying up um, upstairs and doing some vacuuming uh, and preparation work and um, move some stuff out of one bedroom and put it in place into the actual living area so I can get access to that that bedroom for sanding and preparation and stuff like that but I still need to finish the main living area um, such as I've got to do the, the ceiling which I've been putting off hence I've got my shoulder support on today which is is very very good um, it seems to be anyway for me um, I'm looking a bit tired there yeah restless night I think and uh, yes yeah, so I'll be getting on with that today but on, a, on another subject um, I was talking to my wife last night and uh, we were talking to each other and we were saying, or she said to me, we haven't had a holiday in nearly five years. Yeah, nearly five years. And uh, I thought to myself, oh my God, yeah. We'd just been either under the first year over here was lockdown. Um, so we were locked down for a year, pretty much a year. And then, uh, yeah, um, so, She's suggested that we have a long weekend in uh, Puy de Fou. If, um, if you haven't heard of Puy de Fou, um, I'll put a caption on the screen on how you um, spell it, and you can look it up. Uh, I, I might put a bit of footage on here uh, of our last visit, which was about six years ago, uh, and it blew me away then. Um, so I, I might put uh, a, a few snippets up there uh, just to show you what it was like then. Um, I might have to mute the sound though because I might get copyrighted. So um, I think we're, we're definitely going to Pretty Food next year. Um, also, um, she mentioned about um, doing a part of the Canal de Midi on a boat. And I'm like, fantastic idea. Um, take the fishing rods. Oh, that will be just bliss if the weather's great. Uh, if not, I mean, we'll, we'll take our, our cycles anyway. Cycles? Uh, mountain bikes. So um, she's planning that. Um, and I said to her, that's not cheap, you know. Even the accommodation at, uh, where we want to stay in their little private accommodation, they've got private accommodations that are suited um, or in, in theme with the historical nature of Puy de Fou. We stayed in one of them last time and it was, it was amazing. Um, but that wasn't cheap um, then. So God knows what the price is now. I, I've, I've, I've not looked at the prices, but the missus is doing that. And the uh, doing the Canal de Midi, that's not cheap either. Um, I, I researched that about seven years ago, and it was a lot of money then. Um, so, uh, but she said, look, we, don't, we, we haven't had a holiday in five years, four or five years. We can't take it with us. So we need a break, which is true. We do need a break um, from the uh, monotony of daily life. So yeah, I'll, I'll put some footage of Peter Fu on the end of this intro and, uh, and see what you think. Let me know in the comments what you think um, because uh, I recommend you do it, it from globally. Just do it. Um, it. It's amazing. Absolutely astounding. So anyway, I'm, I'm babbling now. So uh, let's crack on with today's work.
Just je peux vous le rendre, Seigneur, Seigneur, car avec les soldats, il est très rose, un vent sans tendre, pour plaisir, pour plaisir, ils ont les combats. Le cirque est plein ce jour de fête, le cirque est plein du Right, I've sanded. Sanded the ceiling, because uh, I made such a hotchpotch of it last time. And I've, uh, because I'm getting better at it, I've done a, another skin coat over it. And uh, it's not looking too bad. Wait till it dries, and then, uh, a little rub down on the edges and it would be good and I've started to move some of the flooring through uh, which I don't know why because uh, the ceiling's got to be painted first and then uh, the walls have to be painted oh and I've still got to do a bit of where the coving was I still need to smooth out some of the edges up there But I tell you what, this strap I've got on my shoulder here, it's working a treat. Absolutely working a treat. It, what was it? Nine euros off the jungle, if you know what I mean. The jungle. You know that big rainforest in uh, 
South America, that jungle. Yeah. You get so many ads for these strap things on Facebook and um, other platforms uh, that rip you off. And all it is is a, is a neoprene strap with Velcro. That's all it is. And they're charging, what, 20 odd, 20 odd quid for it? Tenner, maximum. I don't think mine was the 8 99 I think mine was, from, from the jungle. But it's worked to treat. Anyone's got any shoulder issues, try it. You've, got, you've only got 10, 10 quid to lose, haven't you? So yeah, that's all done. I'm back tomorrow. So I'll, I don't think it'll be dry by then, but but let's wait and see. If it is dry, then I can give it a quick sand, a hand sand, because I've been using the uh, the orbital sander down there. That was a cheapie from the jungle as well. It's, it's got some beans on it. I tell you that. Uh, that's why I, I haven't been using it because it scares me. <laughs> How stupid am I? But yeah, that, I'm, I'm pleased with that. Really pleased with that. But look at the state of me. I'm a mess. Absolute mess. Yeah, I've got to get rid of this t-shirt. It's my decorating t-shirt now, even though I love it. But uh. Anyway, so uh, onwards and upwards. And uh, I'll catch you later. Ta ta for now. The next day. The next day. What am I doing? Judging by the look of me, I'm sanding. I'm sanding the uh, ceiling I did yesterday. Can you see that? You can barely see it. It came out pretty good, but I still have to fine sand it down, just to get rid of any imperfections. Really good job. Proud as punch about that one. So, yeah, and with, this, with these old door frames, these old door frames, uh, I'm gonna have to extend them. Here I've put expanding foam in, but I've whipped it out on the other one, most of it, and put some construction filler in there so I can sand it down to the same, um, same specs as the uh, door frame itself. And in here, in this gap here, I'll put some uh, a wooden bead to fill that out and then take this edge off because uh, I could take them out I suppose but it causes more damage than um, than I'm prepared to fix and they're solid they're in the floor so they're solid I know because I've taken the other sides out and wow that took that took some time so uh, yeah by the way it's Saturday don't ask me what date it is, I think it's... I don't know. <laughs> Without looking at my watch, and my watch is... covered. October the 12th. So, uh, I had some really bad news yesterday. Um, I got a message on, on Facebook saying that... Uh, one of my old friends had died. Um, and that, that, I mean, 30, 38 years, 37 years. Uh, so, yeah, that, that took, me, took me by surprise because um, she was a, a dear friend and I'd known her since she was a teenager. Um, but I'm, I'm gutted. 
and my heart goes out to the family. Um, yeah, so life's too short, so you've got to make the most of it. And uh, hence that's why the missus is uh, getting all these holidays, excursions sorted uh, for next year. Does she know something that I don't? Mm. Nah, it's not worth thinking about. Anyway, I've got to crack on. Uh, this will be the end of the video, this specific one, because uh, it's gone on far too long anyway. And me and my rambling is just ridiculous. Um, so uh, tune in for the next one. Give me a like, give me a subscribe. You never know what could happen on these videos. Sometimes I remember to put the camera on, sometimes I don't. <laughs> So, stay safe everyone, and I'll catch you in the next one. Ta-ta for now.